Lawrence. Minister, the Ballymun Shopping Centre was, when it was built, was the social and economic heart of Ballymun. In more recent years, its derelict vacant units and outward appearance disheartened locals and was an unwelcome sight for visitors to Ballymun and to those who drove through Ballymun. Ballymun Shopping Centre, left as it was, became a stark reminder how it was the biggest failure of the costly regeneration project which cost over a billion euro. The community in Ballymun deserve better. The derelict site doesn't reflect the spirit of the closely knit community of Ballymun. The regeneration project was supposed to be about improving people's lives, improving their environment, as well as providing proper housing. It was also about enhancing the quality of life of people and their environs. The redevelopment of the shopping centre was central to the 1997 Ballymun Regeneration Plan. Treasury Holdings presented a plan for the shopping centre. The new complex, which was to be the main shopping facility for the suburbs, 18,000 residents, was due to be built in 2005. In 2009, Treasury secured planning permission for Spring Cross, which was the old shopping centre site. The plans were to deliver an 800 million development. This development was to include an 11 screen cinema, a bowling alley, public library, crash restaurants, public houses, as well as more than 70 shops and offices and apartments. Construction was to begin in 2010. However, due to the economic crisis and the economic crash, the town centre lands became part of NAMA's portfolio of loans before any development began. Many retailers in the centre closed in 2014, and the shopping centre suffered a major blow when it lost Tesco, its most important tenant. Dublin City Council, who are now the major stakeholder, has at last begun the process of demolishing the 50-year-old shopping centre. And we ne are now in a position, if it is handled correctly, to revitalise the centre of Ballymun and make it once more the heartbeat of the community. The new development could once again become a central hub linking the communities of Ballymun. Minister, we in Sinn Féin will not support any development on this site that does not have at its core the idea and philosophy that this site is crucial to making this area once again the heart of the community of Ballymun. Dublin City Council should deliver on the promises and aspirations of the regeneration project. And central to that is making this site once more the centre of a vibrant and growing community. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Ellis. Over the lifetime of um, the Rebuilding Ireland Action Plan for Housing and Homelessness, some 211 million is being made available under the National Regeneration Programme to support the delivery of over 1,000 new social housing homes. Um, together with providing a significant number of new homes, the project seeks to address the causes of disadvantage in these communities through a, a holistic programme of physical, social and economic regeneration. The Ballymun Regeneration Programme, which predates the Rebuilding Ireland Action Plan, spanned a long number of years, with the departmental funding first arising in 1999 out of the 1997 plan that the Deputy referred to. This substantial programme, which uh, comprised 24 projects, is now completed. Um, the overall programme is estimated to have cost approximately €972 million, Euros, funding of which uh, €775 million is from the Department of Housing or its predecessor, the Department of uh, Environment and Local Government. Uh, it, it was largely completed by the end of 2013, and the Ballybun programme represents the largest regeneration initiative undertaken uh, in the state. The state's investment resulted in almost 2,000 new replacement homes being constructed for the former residents of the original blocks. An additional uh, 1,350 homes were provided via private sector investment. In addition, the programme provided state-of-the-art community facilities such as the Axis Theatre, along with neighbourhood centres to improve services. In recent years, the regeneration activity has focused on improving the area's environmental performance with various green initiatives, new parks and playing pitches. Enterprise and employment generation has focused on the main street 
and retail parks, uh, with many new employment opportunities created for residents of the area. Um, the redevelopment of the shopping centre, and I fully concur with uh, Deputy Ellis's points in relation to its central role in, in completing the regeneration of Ballymun, it's, it's considered to be the main, uh, the key remaining element of the rege regeneration of the Ballymun area. This significant uh, Main Street site comprising 3.2 hectares of zoned uh, for district centre mixed use land uh, in both the city development plan and the Ballymun area plan. Dublin City Council wishes to obtain sustainable uh, mixed use viable development that will maximise the site to its full potential and complement the extensive uh, state and local authority investment in Ballymun's regeneration to date. Following a competitive procurement process earlier this year, a demolition contractor was selected and the contractor went on the site on the 9th of September um, 2019. The site is currently being secured uh, and um, demolition works commencing um, and this work would take approximately six months to complete. Future use of this site uh, will involve a public consultation process. A regeneration project moves through a number of phases throughout its life. The initial master planning stage, demolition works, enabling works, refurbishment and consolidation works in some cases, and construction. The enduring regeneration project must extend beyond physical redevelopment alone. In order to be successful and sustainable over the long term, a regeneration project requires the rebuilding of a community and the strengthening of community bonds. Taken together, the provision of state-of-the-art uh, community facilities, large-scale housing regeneration and new development, and support for local enterprise and employment through various social regeneration initiatives they have ensured the success so far of the Ballymun Regeneration Programme. The redevelopment of the shopping centre site will complete uh, the regeneration of this area, and it is expected following the completion of the um, demolition works, which are expected to take six months, that the City Council will engage in extensive consultation with stakeholders but with the wider public uh, to ensure that the, the objectives that the Deputy has outlined in his original statement um, are met for the community of Ballymun and indeed those areas around Ballymun that could benefit from the regeneration of the, the shopping centre site. Thanks to the Minister for his reply, but the reality is the regeneration programme has not been completed and Ballymun Shopping Centre and shopping facilities for the people of Ballymun is virtually non-existent. And that is a tragedy. That's a tragedy for the people of Ballymun. That's a tragedy for all the people that have to travel out of Ballymun to Blanchardstown, to Omni and to Charlestown. They should be able to shop in their own community where they've always found that they meet their neighbours, they go out, they have a cup of coffee, they may drop in and into the public house and have a drink or something. Um, all the normal things that people would expect in an area and in a place with such a large population. The population of Ballymun is going to go well over 20,000 over the next number of years. We hope, and I'm still hopeful, that the Minister of the Metro North will be going through Ballymun. We've been given a commitment on that, and I'm hoping that we never renege on that commitment, because that is a lifeblood not just for Ballymun, but for the people accessing the airport and people tra tra travelling across our city, which will also have huge environmental uh, issues attached to it. So it's, you know, I don't know any other area that could have been treated as badly. And I know some of this was beyond the control of Dublin City Council, but that is not good enough. We, 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 every meeting I've gone to, whether it's a forum meeting with residents, the issue constantly comes up about our shopping centre. Where do we meet our neighbours, like we did before, and to recreate that community spirit? So if we go out to consultation, there is much, much evidence and many, many meetings that have shown us what the people of Ballymun want. And I will urge, and I say to Dublin City Council, we need to address this issue. It is no use. I, and we accept that we have to build houses, we have to do all these things, and, and it's urgent. But we cannot do it at the expense of leaving a, a, a community like Ballymoam without the facilities that they should have and that they had in the past. It's imperative that we do so. Um, I want to agree with virtually everything that Deputy Ellis said. Um, 
I mean, uh, it strikes me, I haven't uh, directed any, and I'm not in a position to direct local authorities as to what they should do um, with sites like this or indeed with issues like this in their own functional area, but I don't think it would be um, unreasonable to hope that Dublin City Council could begin the consultation process when the demolition works are actually happening, so that what Deputy Ellis speaks about uh, in terms of the completion of the regeneration of Ballymun can, can happen as soon as possible. He's right to point out that a lot of the factors which delayed work commencing on this uh, project were outside the City Council's um, fault and outside of many people's fault. But um, we're in a position now where, where uh, we can complete the rehabilitation of Ballymun and ensure that it has the adequate community centre, mixed-use shopping facility provided in the centre of, our, in, in the Ballymun area, for an area that's going to expand, as he pointed out. And I think that uh, this public consultation process hopefully will lead uh, to a sustainable shopping offering. And the things that he, that he speaks about so eloquently, really, that shopping is about more than just physical buildings. It's about having that place where people can meet uh, their neighbours and interact socially uh, with those people who they've known for many years. And that's why this phase is crucial. And I, you know, I would certainly say you should be talking to your own councillors in Dublin City Council, get that consultation underway as soon as possible, and then the work can be done as soon as possible.